friends and family, we are here to unite Nicole and Devin in marriage. Marriage is the promise between two people who love each other, honor each other as individuals, and are willing to commit the rest of their lives to each other. Marriage unites two separate lives into one life, two individuals into one joint couple. Mr. Johnson, do you give your daughter into marriage with Devin? Yes. Many of you here today we're expecting more traditional minister, or priest, or judge. You probably expect to hear, by the power vested in me, by the city of, or the county of, or the state of, but you won't really hear that. Where the power to unite in marriage comes from is from Nicole and Devin. Devin, the past six years have been nothing short of amazing and crazy. I knew from our first few dates that you were someone I wanted to spend my life with. I'm lucky enough to have found someone that shares the same values and goals in life. Today and always, I'm out to laugh with you and at you, cry with you, dance with you, and support you. I promise to share with you my hopes, thoughts, and dreams as we grow and build our lives together. I vow to be your travel partner, brewery visitor, and navigator. I vow to keep being adventurous and never let that part of our relationship die. I vow to listen to your stories and try really hard to not interrupt them, no matter how many times I've heard them. <laughs> I vow to grow with you and to always encourage you to follow your dreams, even if those dreams are collecting all the red and roughing memorabilia you can find or visiting every brewery in New York State. I vow to keep trusting you and to keep learning from you. You've taught me so many things in life already. Most importantly, I vow to always be by your side, no matter what, and to love you always. I cannot wait to see what our future has in store for us, because I know our adventures won't stop here. I vow to always be a shoulder for you, whether it's to cry on, lean on, punch on, or laugh on. I vow to make the long days feel shorter and the fun days feel longer. And I vow to always empty the dishwasher by the third time you ask. I vow to always explain the background of a movie before I take you to see the sequel. And I also vow to cap my stories at 25 minutes, um, and I'll remember to try and see if I've already told you that story in the past. Uh, but mostly I vow to be the person who is there for you whenever you need, wherever you need, and with whatever you need. To be the one that, even on the hardest of days or the toughest of obstacles, you know is out there loving you with every ounce of their being. And I vow to continually show you just how much I am in love with you for the rest of our lives. Now, by the power vested in me by the commitment of Nicole and Devin, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal the deal. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Devin Hoffman. If I ever get the nerve to say hello in this cafe, say you will. Together could never be close enough for me To feel like I am close enough to you So you went wide and I wear out the words I love you and you're beautiful That the wait is over And love has finally if 
Feel my way through the darkness I got a bad beating heart And I can tell where the journey ends But I know it starts But tell me I'm too young to understand Say I'm caught up in a dream Well, life won't pass me by if I don't open up my eyes But that's fine by me So wake me up when it's all over When I'm wiser and I'm older All the time I was finding myself and I Didn't know I was lost So wake me up when it's all over When I'm wiser and I'm older All the time I was finding myself and I Didn't know I was lost I start carrying the weight of the world But I only have two hands I hope I get the chance to travel I don't have any plans. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Chris, Devin's big brother. I, I didn't really know how to start the best man speech, so I was Googling ideas, and one of the ideas that came up a lot was to tell a joke. Well, then I remembered my mom always said I wasn't the funny one. Devin, was. Devin and I were always the closest friends. We each had different things we were good at that made us closer. If one was good at soccer, the other one was good at baseball. If one was good at basketball, the other was good at football. If one was good at tennis, the other was good at ball. But one thing I could never win at was beer drinking. De Devin's favorite thing was always his birthday. But not for the reason you think. Devin and I are Irish twins. So for 10 days every year, we are the same age. They are the longest 10 days of my life. When we were younger, my justifications for doing things were that I was older than you. But not these 10 days. And Devin made sure to let me know every single day. Nicole. I knew you and Devin were right for each other. Today he told me he met you at the brewery. He would call me and tell me stories about how he found the girl of his dreams. But one of the best stories to describe why you two were meant for each other happened a few years ago. Laura and I were driving with Nicole and Devin to Michigan for summer vacation. So Devin picks us up, we walk to the trunk to load our bags in, and there are boxes of beer in every corner, up and down. One bag even had to ride up front. Devin assured me the ride home would leave more room as the boxes would be gone. As some of you may know, that summer that in Michigan, Devin and Nicole went to 22 breweries. So our bags had to stay in Michigan. So let's go. To Devin and Nicole, congratulations and live a life full of yeah. All right, next up is Katie. I just want to say a couple words about the types of people that Devin and Nicole are together. For me, they're the type of people that will rescue you twice in one day when your car breaks down in the middle of a blizzard, even though they told you to leave it running for 15 minutes, but you just went right to the gas station. They're the type of people who probably belong to too many sports teams. How many people are on a sports league with Devin or Nicole? I know. All right, there's probably a dozen, you know but they're dependable and they're, they're always going to be there and they're always going to show up when they get to see the 
<laughs> They're the type of people that you can depend on, that you want in your corner, who are going to help you make yourself a better person, who will, I don't need that. I can talk about you, I don't need to look at that. Who will celebrate your successes and share in your losses, because that's just them. When they're in your corner, they are always in your corner. They're the type of people who will make you laugh until you cry and drink until you also want to cry. <laughs> who will just always be there for you. They're the type of people who deserve the best because they are the best. All of these people here are here because you guys throw out a holiday party. <laughs> Not really. It's because they're so happy for you. We all love you so much and wish you nothing but the adventure of a lifetime. Hello. <laughs> um, so Nicole has been my best friend since I was seven years old, and I am 28 years old now, so that's a really long time. Um, having been to a few weddings myself, I know that people like these things to be short and sweet, so I will try to keep it under an hour. <laughs> I'm kidding, but honestly, I could talk about you forever, Nicole. Um, so Nicole is truly one of the most friendly and welcoming people I have ever met. I have known her for about 22 years, and I've had the honor of calling her my best friend through all of them. We met in elementary school and became fast friends, bonding over soccer and Pokemon, Mary Kate and Ashley everything, and color changing butterfly hair clips. We were just two peas in a pod, two little girls who loved playing together. I remember pretending to be statues on top of the rock outside your old house <laughs> and making a hot tub out of a 32 gallon tub in my parents' backyard. Oh, yeah. nice. I, <laughs> I have rarely had as much fun with another human being as I have had with Nicole. Um, so I'll give you an example of how much I love Nicole. When I was a kid, my parents had this little wooden heart in their bedroom that had the quote, marriage is best when you marry your best friend, painted on it. I remember saying to my mom, oh, I'm gonna marry Nicole. <laughs> and she was like, oh, probably not. <laughs> Thanks, Devin. <laughs> In high school, we had such a genuine mutual friendship and weirdly completed each other. I had the book smarts and she had the social smarts. Um, I helped her with her homework and she let me tag along with her to older boys' houses. I was shy and socially awkward and she was outgoing and always made me feel included. I remember spending so much time at her house, I actually started calling Barb and Chris my second parents. <laughs> um, we got into all sorts of shenanigans, and one time we even pulled off this diabolical thing where she told her parents she was staying at my house, and I told my parents we were staying at her house, and we stayed out all night. We were pretty Sorry, much inseparable. friends do. She was always there for me through thick and thin, like she would be for anybody. Nicole helped me through the hard times and supported me through the good, as she does for everyone she knows. She never judges people by where they're from, what they look like, or what they've done. She's a beautiful person who welcomes everyone, and that is truly a rarity in this world. Um, so as you can see, I'm a pretty big fan of Nicole. <laughs> The only thing I ever didn't like about Nicole was that her boyfriends were never good enough for her. They never treated her like the amazing woman she is, and somehow they got away with it. And this is where Devin comes in. So I remember one night in Nicole's house a few years back, she was telling me about this guy she met at work with these beautiful blue eyes. Seriously, Devin, we spent the entire night looking at pictures of you. I could tell she was smitten, but I was skeptical because I was super protective 
of her. Um, but before I knew it, they started dating, and everything about Seven sounded great. Um, so on the night I finally in was introduced to him, I asked him to run to the store with me for something just because I wanted to grill him. <laughs> and she was right. I could tell right away that Devin was an amazing guy. And yes, you do have nice eyes. <laughs> he was kind, funny, outgoing, helpful, and smart. Everything Nicole deserved out of a partner. Over the past few years, I have watched Devin and Nicole's relationship bloom. I have watched them fall in love, and I could see they were truly meant to be. They are two of the friendliest, kindest people I have ever met. Anyone who has spent any time with them knows that between the two of them, they know the entire city of Utica. <laughs> and they are loved by everyone they meet. I am so, so happy that Nicole, that you have found someone who is truly worthy of your beautiful soul. <laughs> And I'm glad it's you, Devin. <laughs> um, Alright, so I'm going to wrap it up. But basically, Nicole and Devin are two of the best people I know, and if you do not agree with me, you are simply wrong. <laughs> I wish you both all the happiness in the world, and though I'm no expert, if I can give one piece of advice to you both, it is to make a little time for each other every day. Marriage has its ups and downs, <laughs> But as my parents' little sign said, if you marry your best friend, it's the best ride of your life. And that's what you two are doing. <laughs> I love you both so much, and I'm so happy to just be able to be in your presence in life. Carrying the weight of the world But I only have two hands I hope I get the chance to travel the world